Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder where we are in our little corner of Jurassic Park as always and our dinosaurs are snoozing because they have had plenty of donations. They're full. They're ready just to, to kind of take a nap but we're not going to let them nap too much longer. Alright, come on guys. Good morning. Good morning. Alright, let's get all of these coins because we have things to do with these fancy dancy coins. In fact, we're going to come over here. And we're going to start clearing a little bit more away, like this spot right here. And let's see, can I clear you away? Well, I don't want to waste my money on that just yet, because I do want to earn some more bucks. Because I'm still a little bit low on the bucks. Alright, let's come over here. Because we do need to move this entire little weird, like, boardwalk section. I just feel like it would make the coolest boardwalk up along the beach area here. And I want to move all of it like down over here. I just can't manage yet because there's some giant rocks covered in mushrooms in the way. But we can at least kind of start scooting things down here. All right, come here, you. And trying to get our Jurassic section uh, in order. So let's see. And then we need to clear out one of those two spots. Hmm. We'll see what money we have left over because I do want to try evolving some new guys as always so we can keep at least one evolution going in each of here you guys go a little pizza shop that no one say that i never did anything for you i want to keep one evolution going in every zone and i think we actually are done i think finally some of the guys who have been waiting forever to hatch have finally hatched down in the aquatic zone and i'm hoping that over in the glacial zone they will be ready to emerge from their little incubation chamber and we will be able to admire our newbies over there too here we're even going to move this little purple cyan down here here you go. Here you go, guys. Like I said, let no one ever say I didn't do anything for you. <laughs> that looks much better already. <laughs> and that gives us more space up here to start expanding, maybe moving, like, a museum section over here. The ideas are there. Ooh, and look at all this. Collecting rent from all these guys. Now, this is a nice way to do it. All right, we have level four star creatures up here. So who should we work on evolving next? I'm kind of tempted to do this guy. Get more of our gold and high level fighters done. Like our Pachyrinosaurus is now done. They just don't feel like fierce fighters compared to what I'm used to seeing. Oh my gosh. The Pachy is like a bigger fighter than Pebbles. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. And we just actually got our Brichiosaurus leveled up earlier. And he's since hatched. The Gallimimus are fully leveled. Pebbles. Uh, I mean, Annie, the Ankylosaurus, as always. There we go. Got quite a bit of food to collect. What are our missions here? Build a fish fossil. And place a dancing fountain. Ooh. Ooh. So, like, is this... Yeah, that's a fish fossil. Ooh. Hmm. That makes me kind of want to go and make, like, a little area that we could call... Like, with the... The... And we've talked about this before, too, with the, like, impact craters and build an area that we could pretend is, like, an archaeological dig site. That would be fun. Oh, fish fossil is cheap. I don't mind putting a fish fossil down. I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to put it right here. There we go. All right, what do you think about that, sir? Fossils can turn up anywhere if you know where to look. Indeed, sir. Indeed. All right, now what? Collect 5,000 on display. Our talented amateurs are ready to choose which attractions they want to run. Collect 5,000 coins from the museum. Collect 5,000 coins from the Cretaceous Coaster. All right, we're on it. We have several Cretaceous Coasters, so that should help us out there. Oh, I'm so excited. We're, like, actually getting things done over here for once. I'm going to clear this rock out, too. As much as I love mushroom rocks, we have work to do. We have work to do indeed. All right, I kind of want to move, like... If I can scooch this over somewhere up against you, my little one, so we can start. Oh, look, they're pushing each other. That's adorable. Is that why? Okay, so it was there for a reason. If I could just get a little more space. All right, what about over here? There we go. I like it. I like it. So we're going to probably start decorating around the dinos with some of the big items again. Hmm. Pebbles. We got our little mountain chain going. 
Basically, I think we just need to finish leveling up more of the dinosaurs as time goes on because they are going to give us the most coins for our investment. And the like little safari lodges will pretty much only give us like a thousand ish coins every two hours. And I'm not on every two hours anymore. So, hmm, we'll figure it out. All right, we're actually going to go over to Glacial Area next because it is my second favorite. And we're going to see what's going on over here because it's been a long time since we've done some proper work in Glacial Zone. And ooh, are we ready to hatch some things? I'm ready to hatch some things. All right, expedition team, did you bring me back some coins? I can live with coins. I really wanted that, but I'm okay with it. All right. Everybody needs an info igloo hut. I need to put those down later. All right. And actually, nobody was inside. We have our gold level fighter right here, by the way. I kind of want to try him out. We might try him out today because he is pretty darn fierce. And let's see. Place the inflatable saber tooth. Collect from a building with at least a 5% bonus. Um, have two herbivores at level 15. Have six stars with carnivores. Oh, that's going to take forever for kids day. We're inviting some of the local children in the surrounding villages to visit the glacial park with their parents for free. Which animals should they ride on? Why are you having me level up the carnivores? Why? Every now and then I think Kelly is one of the more business savvy people involved in this whole expedition. And then she does things like this. She is still just a kid herself. All right, and we need to place two decorations to welcome everybody here. So let's see, a building with 5% bonus. Is there any building that has a bonus at all? Interesting, there is not. What if I move the security office right down here, though? Now it has a 4% bonus. What if I moved it? Let's see, come here, you. Right there. Now it's got a 14% bonus, so... Woo! Mission complete! Good to know I'm surrounded by other scientists. Of course, sir. Of course. How are things, Dr. Wu? Honestly, I could use some help here, especially Dr. Grant. He could shed some light on this glacial ablation we're seeing. And just where is our intrepid scientist, anyway? All right. Natural defense. Take a shovel. We're planting a line of trees to help shield the museum from the high winds that we've been getting lately. Create a path from the gateway to the Glacial History Museum using roads. Put two fir trees around a Glacial History Museum close together. Now these are the kind of missions I really like. Okay, where's our Glacial History Museum? Over here? No, that's the Souvenir Outpost. I don't think I put down a History Museum yet. Um, we've got the Info Igloos. So where is the History Museum? Uh, glacial History Museum. I'll go ahead and we will build a nice Glacial History Museum. That sounds really cool, actually. And they're actually making me use the roads this time, which is kind of interesting. So, um, Glacial History Museum. I guess we'll put it... I kind of want to put something up here again. So I'm going to put it up here. And we're going to have to create a path to it. So that's going to be a little interesting. Alright, there's that. And then we need fir trees, huh? All right, so we need two fir trees next to it to kind of protect it from the winds. That's actually a really cool mission. I approve. Approval is granted for this mission. Let's see if we can get a signal now. Why don't you come along? Oh, and now we are making him happy because we're putting decorations down. All right. Henry, I know you don't like watching the news. Too many commercials with silly dogs hanging out of a car. I have no interest in... Uh, you know I don't. Okay, so he doesn't enjoy watching TV. It's coming, sir. Right there. Look, large vein of prehistoric DNA deposits discovered in Argentina. They're sure not talking about our latest expeditions. I think I saw a dick sight while flying in yesterday. For all we know, someone may have already beaten us to the vein. That's just it. This just in. Another mystery researcher here? We must check the satellite map for geographical view. It might give us an idea of where he is. Collect from the watchtower two times with at least a 5% bonus and place two small ice sculptures. You know, because why not? Why not continue to decorate while we're worried about, like, somebody else competing with us? That's fine. That's fine. All right, we're actually going to move the security bureau. I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then I'm going to move this red flower patch right over here. And I'm going to move the info igloo. I love this info igloo. It's just, it's so cute. It's adorable. Um, right there, I guess. I need to move this torch 
somewhere so it's not directly in the way. Uh, right here? Yeah, I think right here, actually. So we're probably going to have to expand pretty soon. All right, actually, we're going to do this. We're going to put a road here and just run straight down. And I'm going to remove these roads. There we go. And remove this road. All right, and then we have to run a road up along here. I feel like we're trapping this poor guy in. Sorry, buddy. I'll try I'll try my best. Let's see, what if I do this instead and kind of run it down the middle so that I can at least put some of the flowers and things. There's that. Now I need to remove this one. And I'm going to put this one kind of along here. Done. There we go. So now we have a little path running all the length over to where we'll have the museum. And I actually really like that. I like the challenge that they're really giving me with having to line up things in just a specific certain way. So we'll be back to check on these guys. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and invest a little bit more in their food. And let's go down to Aquatica Zone and see how our beautiful aquatic creatures are doing. My favorite zone still, though Glacial is starting to warm up. Now that we're starting to get enough money to throw things at the Glacial Zone, and we've got our very first gold level there, I will admit I'm starting to be enchanted with the idea of working in Glacial. All right, we've got some more experience points, and I will eventually get you a little frozen DNA. All right, let's gather up the fish and the shrimp. Hello everyone, good morning, and these guys hatched our banana fish, look at them go, the banana gormus, or what, <laughs> I'm going to just call them the banana fish, honestly, because they're adorable, and our banana fish have hatched, and apparently they are very fierce, so I'm kind of excited to try leveling these guys up and to test them out in the aquatic zone, oh, that's going to be exciting, I kind of really want to test out the glacial zone now too, alright, let's keep going, how's everybody doing, good morning, hey try, Oh my gosh, we've got such good fighters. There's our Mosasaurus. We've got to take our like underwater Atlantean city rent that we're collecting. There we go. Little botanical garden. There we go. And we're right back where we were. Not doing too poorly on funds. Um, I would like to see what the heck this is, the DNA that we found. So I would very much like to do that. Do I want to do a battle? I don't want to do a battle. That's the question. I think I want to do a battle. But I really want to know what this guy is, too. Um, okay, we're going we're gonna to research this guy, and then I think we're going to actually do a glacial battle. Because I'm very curious about what glacial creature, uh, or how the, the new glacial creatures will react in battle. Um, and they're lower level battles, so they're not, they're not too terribly bad. We're still learning all of the moves. I, we've only battled twice so far. Once uh, You guys weren't even with me, so I don't even remember when that happened. Alright, but I do want to see who we have in here and if we can add them into our library, our big, 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 big area of creatures. I think, I think I'm most proud of the amount of golds that we have in Aquatica Zone that are either limited edition DNA or their DNA that you had to get from, like, tournaments. Because we worked hard to collect some of those guys. All right, come on, don't be stubborn. It's a cheap guy to research, at least. All right, come on. Petri dish luck be with us. There we go. And another one. There we go. All right. Almost. Oh, come on. That's just rude. We're so close. Uh, I do want to see the banana fish fight, too. Oh, that would be exciting. And I really miss the fact that we don't have a squid yet. I really wish we had. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Okay, no, don't break. Don't break, Siri. It's, it's trying to make you go mad. Don't break. Oh, now it's just being insulting. Oh, that's it. Fine, fine. Have my one buck. I wasn't going to spend it. I wasn't going to spend it, but you knew, you knew if I waited, I would do it. Oh, come on. Okay, whoever this is is really stubborn because we've spent almost 300000 on it. So, oh, meh. Take that, take that. Meh. All right. We have a little glacial tournament that we need to run. 
Ugh, oh, fine, have my books. All right, the Lithavan! <gasps> Lithavan! Oh, I'm so excited, I've wanted this guy for ages. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, where am I gonna put him? I have no room, we have no room for him. Oh my gosh, okay, I think I could make room for him right here. If we moved the little Dacosaurus, I'm gonna scoot you. You have some new roommates right over here. That's just fine. <gasps> the Lithavan, you guys. Oh my gosh. Gonna scoot you over a little bit. There we go. Everybody's nice and comfy. And this humongous guy. Oh my gosh. Ta da! Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. He's gonna take like a hundred bazillion hours to hatch, but he is here. Another one. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. I love having more added to our aquatic zone. So back over to Glacier really quickly, and we will just jump into a quick little battle with our glacial creatures, because I am intrigued by what they may be able to do. And I will be willing to level one of them up as a reward, except we're out of money. One day left. The current tournament season is about to end. Check the statistics menu. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we're going to get very far this time. I'll try harder next tournament season. All right, so we're actually in silver level. I don't know if we want to try this if we're at silver level. We might as well. Let's jump in. We've got one gold. All right. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna. We're just gonna give it a little try. We probably won't win <laughs> because we we really only have like two creatures leveled up. But it's gonna be an experiment because I want to see what can happen. All right. So this is level one. And let's see, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So really, this would be the best team I have to offer at the first rank. And probably I should mix it up a little bit more, but we'll see. Da-na-na-na, da-na-na-na. Oh, okay, and that's who we're going to be fighting up against. Let's see how it goes. They've got the first the first hit. All right, Matt, what you gonna do? He's gonna it's a, a standing stare off. Whoop! Oh. oh, it's a good hit, a good hit. All right, and how should we respond? Um, with this guy, I can't remember. Was it charge that he's weak against or bite? Let's try swipe. Oh, swipe it is right in the face. Wow, wow, that was a little unforgiving. Okay, so. Sabertooth cat thing. Swipe. Noted. Alright. And let's try this again. Attack blocked. I kind of expected that. So we're gonna block too. Oh, it's a good thing we did! Oh my goodness. Yay! Attack blocked. We're good. Alright. Swipe. And down he goes. Now you, my friend, I'm going to block attack again. So, Sarcastodon, hmm? Um, swipe? Does nothing. Noted. Thank you for your sacrifice, my little one. Oh, down you go. I'm sorry. All right, what about bite, maybe? On you? I would bite him. I think that's, oh, bite, yep. That's my instinct, like if I was up against a predator like this and I couldn't, like, I don't want to like kick him or charge him. I'm not going to headbutt him. I would want to bite him. All right, let's go ahead and nibble. There we go. All right, we win. Good job. You're so proud of yourself. You always do the like killing bite. Look at him. He's such a proud little bird. All right, so moving on to the next majority, the next round. I'll be surprised if we win. Let's do these guys. Sarcastodon. Ooh, okay. You, I think I need to swipe. You, maybe bite? Maybe? I think that's all we're going to be fighting against. Oh, okay. Um, bite and I think charge. I can't remember exactly. We'll figure it out. Oh, look at him when he's evolved. He looks really cool. All right, hang in there, little Sarcastodon. Okay, we're gonna try charging this guy. Wow, that was like a huge shoulder punch there. All right. 
Oh, okay. That's fine. Alright, Sarcastodon versus Sarcastodon. Bite him. Give him a nibble. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, how's it going now? We were nibbled in retaliation. Okay, and nibble. Yeah, we're probably fighting against bots right now because we're so low level. But it's kind of nice so that we can learn the ropes of how to do glacial things. Alright, now we're going to charge again. Oh my gosh, look at the way this guy poses. <gasps> Fascinating. Dun dun! Good job, buddy. Good job. He looks very handsome. Alright, there we go. And now we are moving into the final round. And all I've got are like these guys and you. All right, and we'll see. We'll see how this battle goes. Oh, look at him when he's evolved. Ooh, and we're up against three this time. Doesn't doesn't you know? It's a little bit nerve wracking, but we'll see how we we do. All right, sarcastic on bite. I have no idea. I'm guessing bite for our bird friend. And maybe charge for the woolly mammoth? I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to play with it and figure it out. Alright, our turn. Bite. Attack blocked. That's fine. You use up your blocks. Use up your blocks and special attacks now, my friend. Oh, good job! You withstood a whole hit. Alright, let's do this again. And bite. We have weakened the first one. You have served us well, my friend. All right. Next up is the woolly mammoth. So can we bite you? I don't know how a woolly mammoth bite would go. I've seen those teeth, so I, I shouldn't really like criticize a woolly mammoth bite, but still. All right, so bite. Now we know bite is what's good against woolly mammoth. All right, and bite again. Now if we can just figure out what's good against you my little friend. Maybe bite too? I'm willing to risk a bite. He just looks so curious. I love it. Alright, and we swap over the day dawn. Lucky, lucky we got that. Okay, so bite is not the strongest against you. Let's see. You might block now. Uh, what about swipe? Okay, swipe's really good. And then we're up against a giant woolly mammoth. Look at him. I like his spots and his stripes. They look really cool as the evolutionary stages go up. This will be over quick. That was... <laughs> oh, that was adorable. That was adorable irony. Alright, so he fights really well. I like it. Yay, grand prize. Yay, bucks. Woo! I want a Titan Boa. That would make my day if I could have a Titan Boa. Go away, Ad. If I could have a Titan Boa, that would, like, make my day. I would be so happy. All right, as promised, I will have to come back when I have more money. And then we will work on evolving up some of these guys. Because Glacial Battles are starting to intrigue me quite a bit. They really are. And I will have to go and throw our ring, our hat into the ring for the aquatic tournaments pretty soon. And earn some more fangs, now that I think of it. But we are slowly really making progress with everything. I like how we had to do this little fir tree, like, protective thing right here. It makes me want to go back to the, gla or the Jurassic area and do things like that. Or to make, like, a kelp uh, like a long kelp garden that just stretches down across our aquatic zone. So there's still more to do and many more ideas that we are discovering as time goes on. And I will see you guys next time when we continue to evolve our creatures, take them off to tournaments. And I wonder if there's like, is there like the equivalent of safari lodges that we could put here where people could live here and then like pay us, pay us for the, um, the glory of it. There's a spa and a restaurant, so we'll have to figure out how we're going to make money off people who come to visit here. Hmm. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.